Pro football heroes are as varied as the game itself. In our film library, we've got the young, the old, black, white, the big, and yes, even the small. This is the story of the NFL's smallest quarterback, Eddie LeBaron. In 1952, Eddie was drafted by George Preston Marshall, the owner of the Washington Redskins, who frankly admitted that Eddie's lack of size would be a serious handicap. But Eddie proved to Mr. Marshall and to millions of football fans that he had the vital ingredients for his position, a sense of command and a quick, accurate arm. LeBaron played seven years for the Redskins and then four more with the Dallas Cowboys. And although he played on a lot of bad teams, he never lost his desire or his poise. And he parlayed his limited size and limitless daring into a remarkable pro career. It is a shabby trick on history's part that Eddie LeBaron, number 14, is only remembered as an oddity the midget quarterback, a fluke of the 1950s. In spite of his obvious skill and ingenuity, Eddie was always viewed with more curiosity than admiration. Being 5'7 and 160 doesn't inspire what most people think is the traditional pro. And uh, all through the years, I, I had things happen to me that uh, people didn't think I was a, I was a player. Uh, and in fact, probably some coaches. But uh, uh, when I was in college, I started college when I was 16. And uh, we were going to train. And we passed two little ladies. And I was with, this was right after the war, and I was with two guys who had been in the service. And as we went by the little the ladies, one of them said, uh, who are they? And the other one said, that's the College of the Pacific football team. And, one of them looked at me and said, isn't that nice when they brought their little son along? As a 16-year-old freshman, Eddie played for an 86-year-old coach, the legendary Amos Alonzo Stagg. Mr. Stagg was a unique person, and uh, if a uniform had a hole in it, he took it home at noon, and his wife would sew it up. And she did a scouting. She was only 84, and she would be upstairs and phone down to him and tell him what to, to use. In 1950, Eddie said goodbye to Coach Stagg and joined the Marines. In Korea, he was wounded and awarded the Bronze Star for bravery on the battlefield. No one ever questioned Eddie LeBaron's courage, only his size. Mr. Marshall uh, didn't want a short quarterback. So in the programs in those days, initially I was 5'10 and 180 when we started, and gradually they finally talked him into putting my true size down of 5'7 and 160. The Baron is only a half pint, but he causes the opposition more trouble than a full court. Joe Walton makes the catch and fights for the touchdown. What I couldn't do is if people were right on top of me just with an arm throw it down the field 30 or 40 yards, that's why I went to more run fake type plays or half rolls or uh, roll out type of things and uh, so where I'd have a little more room to throw the ball. LeBaron was the first quarterback to understand the tactical possibilities of the play action pass and in 1958 he led the NFL in passing and was voted the most popular athlete in the nation's capital. I was speaking at a banquet, and uh, I got in a line, and they gave me a little serving. <laughs> I, I got up there, and uh, uh, they, you know, they, they'd served me a child's plate along with the rest of the children there. That, that's kind of the way things went in those days. And I was the hero of the little folk. I used to get letters from fathers all over the country saying, my son is five foot three and 112 pounds and wants to be quarterback and would you write him and tell him that he could do it. Like the famous watch of John Cameron Swayze, Eddie could take a lecking and keep on ticking. He went back to throw a pass and you talk about a blind side. Norman Wild Man Willie played for us. I mean he was a tough monster. He hit 
Eddie LeBaron from behind. I thought the guy was dead. He got up, and to my amazement, he looked at Willie, and he smiled at him. Smiled at him. I said, look at this. I can't believe this stuff. Unbelievable. And he was like that all his career. And he was a great little quarterback. 